Hello NRI friends, welcome to SP NRI, the next generation NRI banking. My name is Mohit, I'm a CA by profession, CFA level 3 and this is the next video in our video series which will be based on the topic of how can an NRI open a DMAT account. So let's just get into it. Uh, in this particular video, we will try to understand the basic concepts of the DMAT account covering its very definition along with understanding the documentation aspect of opening such an account and by the end of the video, we will try to understand that whether an NRI can hold multiple DMAT accounts in India or not. So what is a DMAT account? So if you have been following the series, especially the ones where I have been discussing about investments in India with respect to certain asset classes, there I have mentioned that if you want to trade in equities or stocks, uh, you need a DMAT account. So this DMAT account is basically a part of trading account, which NRIs can open to trade in the Indian stock market in India. Now the usage of these DMAT account is that these accounts are used in particular to hold the shares in electronic form. Now there is a question that whether you can opt for such accounts online or not. So as of now, no bank, uh, no bank can directly offer this facility to open these accounts online. But you can access those websites and even third parties such as Zeroda in India. And you can apply for the account online. But for the documentation part, you need to send the documents to the bank via courier. So that is the basic difference. You can apply for the account online, but in case of documentation, there is a need of uh, sending sending the documents in person via courier. Uh, the next aspect uh, which brings us to the next aspect which is the documentation requirements in terms of a DMAT account. So like I have already mentioned you need to send the required documents to the bank branch in India or if you are in India you can directly visit the bank branch and submit the documents. The documents required are as follows uh, which are the proof of identity, your proof of address, your pre proof of income uh, that is specially for trading and derivatives and this is something that I have also mentioned while ex uh, explaining about the different assets classes uh, if you have not watched those videos you can watch that I will be providing the links in the description uh, the next uh, document required is a proof of bank account followed by your PAN card and one two three passport side photographs so these are the basic documents you need in order to opt for a DMAT account in India now uh, we come to the final topic uh, of the video which is can an NRI uh, can an NRI have multiple DMAT accounts so the direct answer to that is yes, an NRI can have multiple DMAT accounts, but we need to understand how these accounts will operate and uh, on what aspects can these accounts be opened. So the first concept we need to understand is in terms of repatriation. So I've already mentioned repatriation refers to the process of uh, transferring money from your Indian NRI accounts to your overseas bank account. So there are two accounts uh, which we will be discussing, which are the NRE and NRO. So if you are if you are investing in India uh, from NRE account, that means you can repatriate your funds abroad easily without paying taxes. So uh, in terms of repatriation, uh, you have to hold a separate DMAT accounts for NRE investments. Similarly, you have to hold a separate DMAT accounts in terms of NRO investments. So if you are trading in India on a non repatriable basis, then a separate DMAT account is required for NRO. So in terms of repatriation, it can be understood that for each NRE and NRO account, you need separate DMAT accounts. Uh, then we will come to the next part which is the market variation. So the market variation is something you can understand as uh, the basis of types of markets. So in general there are two types of markets uh, that we can understand which are the primary and the secondary. So the primary market is uh, something where this, uh, the securities are created or uh, put in the market for the first time uh, such as the initial public offerings uh, but if, if we consider the secondary market it refers to the trading of these particular stocks or uh, securities uh, after they have been introduced for the first time and the owners are trading these particular stocks between themselves so that is the secondary market so if you want to uh, trade in the secondary market which is the stocks equities etc then you need to have a PIS account which I have already mentioned uh, when we discussed asset classes uh, and the topic of investment in India. Uh, 
so the pis account also requires a certain dmat account to be associated with itself and it cannot be the same dmat account that is linked to your nre or nro account so in terms of market variation we can understand that to trade in the secondary market you need a separate dmat account so these are the basis uh, where you can understand that how and why uh, there is a need of holding multiple dmat accounts and the answer again comes to yes nris can have multiple dmat accounts because of the reasons that we have discussed right now and that would be all for the video as well uh, the next video that we will be covering will be on the topic of mutual funds and uh, to be specific which indian mutual funds are allowed for us nris so our nri friends in the us this video is specially for you on the demands and the queries that you have put up on our website on our comments and everywhere else so this is uh, in return to that uh, and in the meanwhile don't forget to like share and subscribe uh and visit the website keep on asking more questions so that we can come up with more videos for you and th uh, that would be all for this video but see you in my next one thank you